hear Mike's story. come to order uh, board work session October 15th 2020 are there any updates or changes to the agenda okay hearing none we have Tom Judson is joining us from Austin Texas remotely on zoom Tia Bidwell is joining us via zoom um, Sandy Fosdick is joining us via Zoom from Louisiana. And Mary Sinkus is joining us via Zoom. Is there anybody else I missed? That's it. Okay. First order of business is the open forum. Um, I just checked. There was nobody signed up to speak, so we'll move on to board management response to select open forum questions, comments, or concerns. Tom, did you have anything? Nothing at all, David. Good. <laughs> Moving right along, the items that will be discussed or voted on next week, we have a second reading for bylaws, Article 7, concerned association officers management qualifications powers and duties this has to do with the appointing or the uh, approving by the board of the corporate officers we're changing it from june until january uh, apparently it's not a big deal but it is a requirement of the state that we have these officers and let them know. The second item to be voted on next week will be a, a second reading of policy 1.04, uh, joint advisory committees. And that has to do with uh, authorizing a, a background check um, we're trying to make sure that 
We do not have convicted felons or those required to register as sex offenders serving on our joint advisory committees. So we're going to do a background check prior to the approval of new members. Also, uh, an item is added that emails collected or obtained from the POA by a JAC, Joint Advisory Committee member, are to be used exclusively for committee business only. We just thought we'd just put that in writing and make sure it was in there. And um, David, a question on that. Is sure. That, is that emails or email addresses? Email addresses. Okay. Emails collected or obtained. Should that be changed, Doug? Do we need to say addresses? Um, that's a good point. I think I think the um, it would have to go back to a first reading, but yeah, emails. Yeah, I didn't know whether that when you say emails, does that include the whole phrase email addresses is included in that? I don't know. Yeah, I mean that that was that was the intent. I think you, you bring up a good point. It probably could have been a little bit more clear, but. Uh, the intent is emails and email addresses. It might, it might, might be better to be re to read as emails and or email addresses collected or obtained, even if it has to go back to first reading, because there's no worries about this thing. We know we're going to pass it. I know it'll stretch it out another month, but I, I think it should yeah. be correct. I think we can uh, uh, be ready to make that motion to amend next week. And it, it will in effectively become a first reading then. Okay. So good catch on that, David. Well, as another thought, do we need to maybe restate it as to members' names and personal information, including email addresses, something a little more extensive than just email addresses? Uh, th there's already a policy that uh, go covers personal information, that, you know, that members' information should not be shared. It's, I, I don't know off the top of my head which, which policy is, but I feel like that one would apply to, to what you're talking about. But. Okay. Well, um, we'll look forward to making that um, small amendment to the policy. David? Yes. Yes. Doug there's already a policy that talks about members' personal information. Correct. We need this one. I mean, it aren't. I think it was the consensus of the board. addresses. Yeah, I think it was the consensus of the board that you wanted, they wanted something specific to this since the issue had arisen. Um, you know, just, just yeah, a very, very specific application. I, I remember that, but I mean. This is a little redundancy, really but uh, you know. It, it makes it very clear. It, it may be redundant, but it makes it very clear. So. Well, then to Jan's point, why don't we add everything to it so that there's no confusion? Well, I think before we would do that, I think uh, the motion next week would be to send it back to R and R to hash it out and see how far and how explicit they want to be. Uh, as Doug said, there's not a great rush to get this done immediately, but it is something that needs to get done so that go ahead and think about it and when we get to the vote next week, maybe we'll have a motion to send it back to R&R, &R. maybe we'll have just a motion to amend but we'll, we'll see what the board David. thinks. David? Yes. This is Sandy. Um, I do believe that there is a rush to get this done before the next election, or we're gonna have the same issues that we had in the past election. That is, that is correct, that, but we can get it done before the next election cycle. There, there's not a problem right. with that. Yes, we do have a, a time frame in mind when this needs to be done by a certain date, but 
at this point, we're not up against that deadline. David, this is Tom. This is Tom. Uh, the board uh, packets for board candidates goes out in uh, December. Uh, so you're correct. As, as long as we uh, move forward in a, you know, a reasonable amount of time, we should get it done uh, before December, which would be best. Uh, campaigning, uh, you know, the ballot is not finalized or the candidates are not finalized until January. So we have a little bit of time, but as to Sandy's point, we don't want to waste time. Okay. Uh, I would say to all the board members, think about it, which way you want to go. You want to make a slight amendment or you want to send it back to R and R. We'll figure it out next Thursday. We'll and you can always email in between times. Okay, that was 104. We have a second reading policy 2.05, regulation of common property hunting. Um, there's a lot of wording changes here and there talking about guests and the gist of what the changes involved with this policy are making sure that, or not trying to ensure that our members are hunting, uninvited and unaccompanied guests are not. So we're asking our, uh, our members to register the, their vehicle with the POA so that if they're off parked on a vacant street someplace and somebody calls in about them, we will know that that is a hunter or that is not a hunter. And then we can proceed from that point. But trying to ensure the 2020 plan that Bella Vista is for members first. That's two point oh five um, second reading policy three point oh four is guest policies this has to do with uh, some wording the branchwood paved trail uh, whether it is open to the general public or whether it is not open to the general public that's as far as I can see that is the only change in policy 3.04 and that also will be a second reading. The last item to be voted on next week is a second reading of policy 9.04 uh, board election and political candidates slash use of facilities. Um, the change says that salaried members of senior staff while conducting association business shall not endorse any candidate running for the board. Likewise, the board shall not endorse any candidate running for the board. Uh, any discussion on that? Okay, those are the items that will come up for consideration next week. Uh, at, that, at this point, then, we are ready for announcements unless there's anything that didn't get on the agenda. Okay. David. Yes. The, I just wanted to make a note that yesterday the Lakes Committee voted to combine their November and December meeting so they will not have a meeting in November. Okay. I watched them do that too. So, Okay. The next regular session of the board will be one week from today, Thursday the 22nd, 6 p.m. right here in the boardroom. The Thursday, uh, November 5th, General Manager's meeting will be 9 a.m. here in the boardroom. <clears throat> uh, this is a closed meeting and uh, for board members only, presentation of the budget to the board. 
uh, the first presentation, and uh, it takes quite a while. The Recreation Joint Advisory Committee meeting, Monday, November 9th, 4 p.m. right here in the boardroom. The Golf Joint Advisory Committee meeting, Wednesday, November 11th, 8.30 a.m. They've changed from afternoon to morning for the winter season. The, as Tammy just mentioned, the Lakes Joint Advisory Committee meeting is Wednesday, not Wednesday. It is sometime in December. Yes, it's, I don't remember the date. It's on here. You got a month for that one to show up. The Board of Directors work session with the community budget presentation. That's this meeting will be the work session, Thursday, November 12th at 6 p.m. It's not a morning meeting like normal. It is a 6 p.m. presentation of the budget to the community. The regular session for November will be Thursday, the 19th, 6 p.m. The GM meeting for December is on the 3rd at 4 p.m., back to our regular 4 p.m. closed meeting. The December work session is Thursday the 10th, 9 a.m., right here. And the regular session for December will be the 17th at 6 p.m. So we added the JAC times. Uh, hopefully that information is useful to somebody. If there is nothing further, uh, we've got it done. Thank you very much. Yes.